MIT Modular QOF uh, located in Provo, Utah. Blake Christian joined us a few minutes earlier for our panel on the OZ reform legislation. Blake, I'm bringing you back on stage now as a panelist. Hey, there he is. All right. Should be live now. Good, good to good. see you again. Jim. Looking good, Blake. Good to see you again as well. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, just, just in case some of the audience wasn't on a little earlier, I've been a CPA for 42 years, focused on tax incentives for at least uh, 25 of those years, various tax credits and things. So obviously I jumped into the Oz program when it came out. So I've been involved in the Oz program for four and a half years. Um, my day job, I'm a, I'm a tax CPA with a, a top 30 firm in the country, and um, I have set up uh, 180 plus Oz funds throughout the country. Um, you're going to hear today about MIT, which is a real estate and a container housing Oz fund. Um, ESG is our, our backbone, and so you, you're really investing in a diversified fund. Uh, industrial property, as well as a manufacturing company, we convert shipping containers into housing. So it's a couple of uh, fairly fairly hot markets and uh, the convenience of investing through an off fund, you get the compounding tax benefits. Uh, we're located in uh, Provo, Utah, uh, purchased a, a 19,000 square foot heavy industrial building, and there's a real shortage of uh, heavy industrial in our region. It's on two and a half acres, and it's strategically located in the Provo rail hub. So uh, from a logistics standpoint, it's perfectly located, and we can work 24 hours a day in that facility, and uh, our neighbors don't care how much noise we make because we don't have any residential there. Um, we're very focused on the environmentally design and manufacturing. My, my partner, Roy Moffas, is, was one of the first builders of a container house in Salt Lake City. Extremely innovative guy, uh, great work with uh, all, of our, all of our clients, love, uh, love working with him because he's super creative. But uh, essentially, we've, we've been able to build a thermos out of these containers and keep them very warm in the winter and cool in the summer, um, you know, getting uh, R ratings in the mid-30s. Uh, so it's really, um, um, you know, kind of a fun fun area to work in, and uh, it's a very hot uh, segment right now. You all already know about all of the, um, the, the uh, tax advantages. I'm going to put the disclaimer up here. Uh, you'll have that in the package when you get it uh, via email later. So um, again, we are very, you know, great presentations today, some really interesting projects, but I have to say with all humility that I, I think we have the most interesting project because you get the real estate play plus the manufacturing and because I've been a tax CPA for 42 years, uh, I'll get into it when I show you the organization structure, but we, we are able to exit out of our manufacturing side in five years and provide everybody tax-free gains at the five-year mark, and then we can hold the building for 10 years. Um, uh, also, because I'm a CPA and I have insight into you know, hundreds of uh, other Oz funds, I wanted, to, I wanted to be the low-cost provider from a fund standpoint. So I've set our fee structure at 1.25. I don't have any add-ons. Um, I think we have a small fee if you transfer your Oz fund investment, but other than that, we're, we're probably the, the lowest fee structure uh, in the country. So we have really two, uh, two offerings, um, uh, well, and, and two, two under the equity, and then we have a debt option. So bite size, $100,000 right now, uh, because we have, we're not fully um, funded, uh, you'd get a, a 5.16 interest for investing 100,000. If you invested 250,000, you'd have an 11.76% interest. Um, it, once we raise a full four or four or full four million dollars, uh, you'd get diluted to two percent and five percent, respectively. Um, the debt option, uh, we do have uh, uh we're refinancing our 
our uh, facility right now. Uh, we have a $1 million um, um, bridge loan on it. And um, so we are talking to a few people about refinancing, but we figured we'd throw it out to the group here too. Um, so uh, we're gonna refi at $2 million um, and uh, you'd have a first trust deed. We'd negotiate uh, the interest rate and we'd also be willing to throw in a kicker of uh, a little equity interest for a compromise on the interest rate. So um, those, those are the two offerings and uh, we can discuss those offline. So this is our somewhat unique structure. So we were set up as a partnership up on top, pretty traditional. Uh, and then our, our real estate is held and kind of firewalled in MIT facilities. And, um, and the reason we did that is to allow MIT design and fabrication, our manufacturing side, to uh, be allowed to, under section 1202, and I can provide you a bunch of information on that, we could sell this in five years and uh, people could get up to a $10 million per investor exclusion on that exit. Um, there's my, my partner, Roy. He's, uh, he's a fun guy to work with and uh, the smartest guy in the game when it comes to uh, container housing. Um, this facility, um, we have, it's a hundred year old building. Uh, and so we have two and a half acres on, on this. Uh, we also inherited three, uh, you can barely see them there, but three tankers, uh, which were abandoned. And, uh, we're going to be able to sell those, uh, for 25,000 each because, uh, nobody claimed them. Um, then this is a layout of our, our warehouse. And then we have this 5,000 square feet uh, incubator space. So we are gonna lease, we're in the process of leasing this out to you know, 10, or, 10 or 12 individuals that are doing R&D, light manufacturing, et cetera. And we're trying to get be strategic. Uh, they may be doing some uh, projects for us, uh, sub projects. This, here's a couple of our prototypes. Um, we use 45 foot shipping containers, so it ends up yielding about 360 square feet. This one has a rooftop deck on it, and uh, the far one has a full solar, and it's all off grid. We have biodegradable uh, toilets in there, so it can be completely off grid. We have a five uh, five ton gantry crane. Uh, again. We've re completely redone the floors, completely redone the ceiling and the skin building. The land alone is worth, uh, you know, probably a million and a half. Uh, the latest valuation we got because of the improvements that we've done is 3.8 million. That was in March. Granted, that's probably a little lower now with the change in market. Our target markets, uh, homeless housing, workforce housing, rentals, uh, one of the, the, the kind of surprises is uh, uh, we, we've been approached by a ton of mobile home owners and uh, they want to add uh, kind of upscale features to their current developments. Again, there's some of our, and, and there's videos, internal walkthroughs on our website. I'd encourage you to go that. We use sustainable, this is sustainable um, woods and things. This is all uh, bamboo products. And we also have a, we, we may be starting a, a bamboo manufacturing and distribution division. It may not be within our, this Oz fund, it may be in another one. There's some workforce housing projects and we have been getting, you know, a ton of press just because, you know, it's, there's the housing crisis is not going away. We have a great solution. It's a green solution. The portability, and if you buy these and rent them out, if they're fastened to the ground properly, you can expense the under the bonus depreciation rules in the year that they're placed in service. Um, again, please get our package. There's a lot of links, articles, et cetera. Um, and there's our contact information. Um, you know, call either me or Roy, go onto our website. And I've 
hit 10 minutes perfectly. Jimmy, I turn it back to you. You did it. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You did hit 10 minutes perfectly. Uh, yeah, please do reach out to Blake and his partner, Roy. They're both fantastic. I've, I've heard Blake and, and Roy speak a, a couple of times previously. Always great to hear from you, Blake. And uh, MITmodular.com, I posted that link in the Zoom chat as well. Um, we'll do questions for a couple more minutes before we get started with the happy hour. I'm going to post the link to the happy hour once we have officially concluded here. Uh, we had one question from an anonymous attendee wanted to wanted you to elaborate on that five-year exit. I think you're taking advantage of um, section 1202C. Is that right? Or can you, can you talk about that a little bit more? Right. And so it's qualified small business stock. And so as long as you're in the proper industry and we would be um, five years from the date we convert. And right now for full disclosure, we're an LLC partnership, uh, but we'll, as soon as we're profitable, we'll convert to a C corp. That'll start the five year clock ticking. And then you get the greater of $10 million exemption on sale or a, um, uh, or uh, 10, 10 times your equity investment. So if you invested 2 million, you'd get uh, a 20, $20 million exemption. So it's pretty powerful. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, great little uh, section in the internal revenue code there uh, to take advantage of. And uh, yeah, there aren't a lot of qualified opportunity funds that are layering that in. So it's, it's good that you're doing that. And that kind of speaks to the expertise you have as being a CPA for as long as you have. Blake, a uh, question from Rick here. We'll, we'll get to a couple more questions before I close things down here. Rick asks, do you build the container housing based on sales contracts or spec build sold after completion? Uh, right now, we're just we're just doing custom orders. Uh, there is a uh, part of our business plan will be uh, for people to invest in 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 you know groups of ten to twelve containers that would be at the ready for emergencies, and uh, we feel that that's a huge market. You know, earthquake, fire, etc. That we can you know you know get get eight you know put put these uh, the tractor trailer rig and you know haul these out to an emergency and uh, those things are usually going to sit there for six months at a massive premium rental and so that's that's part of it um so you also asked about raising costs and again uh because because we're a smaller space our costs you know in raw dollar terms aren't going to go up as much but they do go up proportionally but it's like buying a car. It's uh, it's like what what features do you want on it? So there's a pretty wide spread. You know, I mean, we can build strip down models for forty footers for eighty grand, but you know, the the more elaborate ones could be one hundred and fifty grand. And we can and then, do multi uh, multi family with we can do multi family. We can do multiple containers on projects. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, Joseph was asking, are there any multifamily projects using container construction? There, there's some in uh, Holly, Hollywood has done uh, some of those. Terrific. Hollywood, California. Um, oh, one more question from Joseph, and then we'll we'll officially close things down here. Joseph asks, what is the expected useful life of a container home? That's a great question. Yeah, I mean, from, from, a, ta from a tax standpoint, if it's not fastened to the ground, it's gonna it's gonna fall into you know a, a under and you're gonna be able to take bonus depreciation on that. Very good. And um, it may have asked about the debt terms too. Uh, at the moment, we're just looking for a 24 month uh, uh, interest only loan balloon payment. You'd have a first trust deed. Perfect. Well, Blake. I think uh, that does it for all of the questions. Thank you so much for not only presenting right here, right now, uh, your MIT modular, but thanks for serving as a panelist on our OZ reform legislation earlier today. Really appreciate uh, your time today. Thank you so much, Blake. Th thank you. Great, great program today. Thank you.